Hi, I am Carissa, VP at Jungle Ventures, and I'm here to talk about five reasons why VCs are saying no to you. I look at over a hundred pitches a month and meet almost an equal number of founders. When you're processing that much volume, you will have to be quick in your decision-making process, which means saying no quickly and only spending time on companies that have a high propensity of getting through IC. I'll share with you some of my thought process when I decide to say no to founders. Number one, don't spam us. If possible, get a warm intro. I receive hundreds of cold emails every month, and majority of them are mass emails with spelling errors, addressed to the wrong person. These are the ones I won't look at because it clearly shows that you're not serious and can't even put in the effort to identify and build relationships with the right contact person in the company. Try to get a warm intro from a mutual connect, from another founder within the Jungle portfolio, or even through the VC community. This is a sure way to get your company moved up the priority list. Number two, being distracted and working on a thousand and one different things. When I hear founders say, here's one more startup I'm working on, that's a huge red flag. If you're not 100% focused on your company, both now and during the next 10 years, you're not going to be funded. Building a business is not a hobby. And as investors evaluate you, they need to be convinced that you are in it for the long run. Else, you and your startup will collapse within the first storm, and there's gonna be many of them. Number three, no plans on what to do when we fund you. So what will you do with the money? You need to give us an execution plan showing how the money we invest will be used to grow and expand the business. If you don't have a plan for what will happen once the money hits your bank account, that is a big red flag for investors. And most likely, the funding won't go through. And no, it can't just be for higher salaries. You need to have a plan on how the additional funding is gonna drive growth, how much, and by the time you execute your plan, what revenue run rate your business will be at, and thus the next valuation. It is a thorough process, and do let us know in the comments below if you want us to talk about this in the next video. Number four, the most important one, failing due diligence. Well, this is a huge, huge one. Imagine you've had a few successful rounds of meetings with investors. They're interested in what you're building, term sheets are being discussed, and then you fail the investor due diligence. My favorite saying is that the story is always in the numbers which is why investors ask for your data room. When investors ask for your data room, what they're trying to do is piece things together from whatever you told them during the few rounds of meetings and what is actually reflected in the numbers provided in the data room. If your data room is a mess, your numbers are incorrect or do not reflect the story that you have been telling the investors, it's a huge red flag. So it's simple. Be honest in your investor conversations. Be kosher in your finances. Number five, simply being untruthful. Investors talk and share notes. We cross-validate what the company has been saying, especially when it comes to term sheets, verbal commitments, and valuations. When you tell an investor, investor A has given me a term sheet with X valuation, and to the other, investor B has verbally committed with X valuation. You can be sure that these investors will check with investor A and B about this. If these claims are simply not true, that's a big, big red flag. When investors see a red flag or multiple, they will usually take a step back. Investors want their investments to succeed as their fund performance and their career depends on it. So you can be sure that the investors will be diligent about those numbers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what other topics we should write or talk about. Please hit like and subscribe and follow for more.